Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it sounds like we're in the middle of a thunderstorm again, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 25 of the original Risen game, and we have done pretty much everything up to the point where we have to go back and talk to our buddy, our compatriot, our friend, our fella, our guy, our man, our dude, by all those names I literally only mean the Don of these here parts, and that would be Don Esteban. But, for now... I'd much rather do. Talk to Beppo. What was Your that? mother, Tilda, is worried about you. Oh, she's always worried. That woman makes my life a misery. Mm. Okay, okay. Clearly she's got nothing to be worried about. Okay. Well, it's an easy experience. Uh, let's see. What, what do you have you got to trade? to trade? Good, sir. I believe he's got a better axe than the one we're using. We are using the light battle axe for 36 damage. He has a 48 damage bearded axe, which requires two more strength than what I'm holding right now in my individual self. I think I'm going to buy it anyway. And I am going to sell my axes that I seem to have laying around. And we are going to add some other stuff to it. Hmm. So we'll throw some of that in there. I don't know about throwing the pearls in there just yet. I think we're okay with what we have. Um, create illusion. Or just maybe to attract attention. It's kind of funny. We'll hold on to our spells. We have a lot of food. I mean, I'm not going to get much for it. I think we're okay. I think we're just going to go with that. We're going to make the trade. Yep. And then we're going to equip that, but first got to go get some more strength. So, let's go talk to our boy, and then we'll continue on our little adventure. I believe our boy Ricardo is it? No, Domingo. This guy right here. We get Domingo over here to teach us. I want us to improve fight my fighting. Axe. And we want to learn five more. Want to be strong. That. Okay. And with that, we're going to open our inventory and equip our new bearded axe. And now, ah! we have the new weapon that does more damage, and we are set. We're gonna head up in. And I do a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun here with the Dom. We're gonna be like, "What's up, buddy? Yeah, we brought you Scordo's package. How do you feel about that?" And you'd be like, "Oh, you're so amazing, Bumpy." I'd be like, "Yeah, I am." Hello, Don Esteban. Let's see here. Is it true that you do business with Romanov? Is it true that you do business with Romanov? What is wrong with that? Pirates act for themselves and for gold. The Inquisitor acts for his faith, me for my people. We all have our own beliefs. We all act in our own interest. Indubitably. About your pile of gold. You will be paid your due. Or was there more to that question than greed? Not every man feels they get their share. Tell the Don about Brogar. That's nothing, it was just a question. Keep Brogard's secret? Eh, that's fine. Nothing. It was just a question. Hmm. So even you have secrets to keep. Indubitably. Scordo has Harbortown ready for revolt. Scordo has Harbortown ready for revolt. He's just waiting for a sign from you. Ah! I knew it! Ah. That is good. <laughs> that is very good. Did Scordo say anything else? Give you anything else? No, no. Yeah, he gave me yes. a package. He did. Scordo That's gave true. me this package for you. Ah, you see? Even an old bear in a cave can grow fat. What? Scordo must trust you if he gave you this package and you delivered it. You have proven yeah, yourself. Proven it was right to trust you. Yep. As of today, Reward. you are one of us and can call yourself a hunter. Woohoo! You have earned our respect. And new you armor. You have earned your pride. I only hope to prove myself further. If I am to serve, I'll need if better I'm to armor. If I'm to serve, I'll need better armor. If 
That is all that I can provide. Pay your share of gold to our war chest, and I shall uh, bring your armor. Darn. Oh, I think I can. I need that. armor fit for a hunter. We look after our own. Take it. Sweet. All right. So the armor is an upgrade, maybe. I Black take screen. it. But is it freely offered? A hunter's best defense is to know his prey. Plan well, and you will never need to test your armor's strength. Never forget that. Indubitably. Don Esteban, do you have any tasks for me? Well, if it isn't our castaway. It is. At least one man here is scrupulous about his tasks. Indubitably. Many of my men are too busy worrying about the Inquisitor and lining their own pockets. Maybe we need to give them something else to think about. Yeah. Yeah, my sword. If my sword is dull and the Inquisitor attacks. He hasn't attacked so far. Which doesn't mean he won't. Fear has haunted us for months. A man's spirit won't remain true for long in that climate. What could the Inquisitor be planning? What could the Inquisitor be planning? Oh, that is a good question. And I think you should find me the answer. Why me? How am I supposed to discover what he's planning? As my envoy. I want you to go and negotiate with him. Really? What should I tell the Inquisitor? That I have something he wants, and that he has something I want. Use that to draw him into conversation. Let him reveal his desire to you. But do not just seek information. We need a truce with him, until our strength grows or his shrinks. So tell him I will give him what he wants. That we mean him no harm. Okay. What does the Inquisitor want? That's what I want you to find out. By offering it to him, I hope to discover what it is he is seeking. Apparently, he doesn't want gold. He has enough of that. So persuade him to say what peace is worth to him. Maybe that way we will find out what it is he seeks. And what it is that he is planning. Okay, and how do I get past the Inquisition? How do I get past the Inquisition to speak to him? Simply tell them that I sent you to negotiate with the Inquisitor. If they aren't afraid of me, they are of him. <laughs> All right, and I will open negotiations. I'll open for negotiations for you. Be careful what you say. Remember, you are going to gather information for me, not to deliver it to them. All right, simple enough. All right, let's take a look at what we just upgraded our Don't armor to. We had ten, ten, and ten, and now we are rocking twenty, twenty. 10, 10, and 20. Very How nice. Many? 10, 20, or more. Well, I don't want to play around here because this place is scary. So we're Last going to leave. Dancer, dance for me, Dancer. You're terrible at your job. You should be ashamed. Alright, we'll get a quick save, and I guess we're going to move out. Um, is there anything else that we had lingering? Let's take a look. Nope. Sons of Tilda, everything that isn't nailed down. Okay, so that's the stealing the the bags, okay. Okay, so the only thing we have left is to negotiate with the uh volcano keep volcano volcano keep. And let's talk to her and let her know. Well, By the way. way. Don't worry. I didn't tell your husband about the business with Broga. Thank you. Like I said, he'd only blame me. Take this. It's all I can spare, but loyalty should be rewarded. I wish it could be bought. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so now I think it's time to... Oops. No. Oh, ah. Apparently fall in a hole. There we go. I think it's time to climb up the hill and go take a look for something to kill with our boy here. The nameless boy himself. Let's see if we can kill maybe some wolves or something. We're decked out in some stronger armor. We got a new weapon. We've got new skills. I mean, we should be able to do some work up against the wolves or whatever else may be lingering in the distance here. I could be completely wrong. That's why we're going to quick save a little bit here and there. 
And we're going to try our best to deal with anything and everything that comes our way right now. That leaves us with a lot to be do- oh gosh. Well, let's see if I can, uh... Can I talk to the ogre? Oh gosh, no! Apparently you can't talk to the ogre. Yeah, just walked over, whipped out his weapon, and slaughtered me in like one instantaneous second. That was uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. We're gonna try to smack him again real quick, but man, that was rough. I think I'm just gonna go on the offensive. I mean, maybe if we get the jump on him, we can win, though I doubt it. And that was way more damage than I was expecting. I mean, like, he one-shot us. I like, granted, we're not at full health, but... Shouldn't matter. <laughs> No, we are definitely not strong enough to fight him. Not even sort of. Alright. So let's avoid him. We'll go see if we can deal with the bugs. If I recall, those bugs are pretty nasty too, and I don't think we can fight them either. So I'm going to see if I can maybe pull them and then try to fight them. But yeah, that ogre wrecked me. Bad. Pretty sure the war cricket is going to be just as big of an issue for us. Could be totally wrong, but you know, I'm probably not. Oh. Ah! 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 Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Don't I, I, I lied. Don't bring it on. Oh, it hurts. Hey, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, I'm with you. All right. Look, like you're having a lot of fun there, buddy. All right. Try to go after the war cricket. Guess we probably can't carry. I guess uh, getting him killed probably not the best thing we could have done. Nope. Oh, that one's just nasty. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, we died again. Alright folks, well, it looks like I am not quite powerful enough to deal with these individuals right now, so we're going to skip this. I thought we were kind of still a little bit weak, but that kind of kind of puts a dampening on quite a bit of what we can do. I'm not super thrilled with how that played out. Alright, we'll go look around, maybe there's some bog bodies or something we can mess with. I don't know. Some worms, or who knows what. We'll just mess with stuff. Keep trying to fight different things and see what sticks, what we can kill, what we can't. It's the only thing I really think of, I mean. Without going all the way over to the Volcano Keep, I... I don't know. Well, maybe we'll just head out to the west here and we'll just go see what's over this way. I'm sure there's bound to be some more stuff for us. We gained a little bit, and we tested our skills. We could kill those things, we had to be careful, and we couldn't get owned as bad as we did. And three is a bit much. Two... probable. Three... unlikely. Hey, worm. Let's go, buddy. Come on, rot worm. What you got, buddy? The worm is uh, pretty crazy. Huh? Oh, yeah. Nope. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! All right. So we killed the rot worm. We are superheroes at this point because you know we're just murdering stuff left, right, and stuff now. We barely managed to kill one thing, but hey, you know what? It's one more thing than we were able to kill before, so take it 
the way you want, but I mean, it's something. I mean, it is advantageous to us in a small way. So, and that's a lot of what this game's about, where you walk around and you're like, I don't know if I can kill that, but I won't know unless I try to kill it, and then usually you'll lose horribly, and you'll be very, very sad, and then you'll want to weep openly, and you probably will a few times, but eventually, eventually you're like, you know what, I'm pretty amazing at this point. Alright. Ah. Easy enough. Alright, so we murdered some boars. We took some damage. It's all well and good. We're gonna gobble up some food. And we're actually kind of in an interesting position here. It's not terrible. It's not great. We'll come over here. We'll look around. We'll see what we can find. Oh, it looks like there's some more gnomes over here. Gnomes and wolves. What the more powerful weapon? All right. Oh, the black wolf. Remember this fight. Yes. Oh, that was easy. We actually took it pretty nicely there, guys. I'm sorry, I, I, I seem to be going quiet every time I fight. I guess it's because I haven't done a lot of combat in this game in a while, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like, eh, I could probably die horribly. And I did, actually. You just saw me. I did die horribly quite a few times there. And it wasn't pleasant. I didn't enjoy it. And, well, it kind of made me look the fool. And not a particularly huge fan of looking like a fool when I'm doing stuff. So, yeah, I was trying very hard to avoid the the whole looking dumb thing and despite the fact that I failed I feel I did okay and I don't know I don't know I'm getting a little bit better I'm, I'm getting a little bit more relaxed kinda getting the timing down it's it's interesting it's probably gonna be okay I think I already looted this didn't I? yeah I did alright wish you could destroy chests once you looted it that would make me happy some mint Alright, well, let's go explore this way, see what's over here. I don't realize the, all the different music and sounds in this game. Because this is a thing that I used to do all the time, and I'm actually glad that I started doing LPs, because I always used to turn off the music in every single game, ever. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of pretty decent soundtracks, so you miss out on a lot of those. If you're, uh... If you do that, I would do... I would turn game music down, or off actually, I turn it off and then I would put my own music on in the background if I wanted to listen to music at all. And that's pretty much how I played almost every game. Whoa, hello. Ready for round two? I already murdered your, your compatriot. That's about what I expected. So, we murdered him originally, and then we completely got destroyed. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to see me die a lot. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit better in combat over the next uh, little bit here. That was pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's the club. I knew there was another weapon. Alright, well, let's try that again without the whole me getting murdered thing. I feel like that kind of took away from my amazing awesomeness. Alright. Two black wolves. And there we go. Alright. A little bit better. Whew. That made me worried, that made me concerned, that made me nervous. But in the end I won. That's all that matters. <sighs> Difficult fight. Alright, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It has been done, and we actually slaughtered something that we had a real, real hard time with before. I think we're 
a little stronger than we were, but definitely not as strong as I'd like to be. All right, piggy. Oh, you have friends. Yes. Really, just gonna triple, just gonna triple gore me, huh? That's kind of a uh, hmm. It's like, oh look, I'm in mid swing, and you managed to hit me anyway. Not cool, man. Not cool. All right, where are we at here? What are we overlooking? Oh, that's a farm down there. Okay. I kind of know where I'm at. It's kind of interesting. Um. um I still kind of want to go back to that cave, too. I never did do that. Oh, jeez. That was a pretty long way down. There was a cave that I never actually went back to that had some stuff we could mine ore with. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant either. Let's go visit these guys. We'll once again have our save to fall back on because there's a pretty good chance I'm going to get owned. Like there is a wolf that's going to die a horrible death. Oh, impressive little wolf. Got a nice little nip on me. That was okay. Weirder than we think. Weirder than we can dream. What is going on? Where's the order recruits? Where's the order recruits? Recruits. And they just don't seem to care that we're walking around here, huh? They're totally okay with that. They're out there smoking their little, uh, their doobies, as, uh, I believe it's all the cool kids are calling it these days. Actually, I don't think any of the cool kids are calling it that, but, you know, we could, we can pretend, we can pretend that they're calling it that. This place doesn't even sort of look familiar. I feel like I'm just wandering through a wilderness that really doesn't accomplish much or lead me to anything of usefulness. I think I'm going to actually try to find my way back to... Okay. I'm going to find my way back to town. We're going to go into that cave and we're going to try to clear out those other things that were there. In addition to that, I feel as though maybe it's time to... I don't know, fight those undead guys again? The skeletons that owned us on our way back. I mean, we have double the armor we did before. I mean, there's reasons to do it. Whether those reasons are good or bad remains to be seen, but... I don't know. I think it might be worth it. I think it might be worth it. I'm gonna chug a potion, heal up, and then we're going to head out of the swamp land. We could stop on our way and probably should have and just rested. Brogar's gonna chill behind this this building now. This is his new place. He's like, what's up? My name is So Brogar. you're a hunter now? Good. Cause I'm hungry. I'm hunting for the camp, not for you. Mm. I am the camp, little fish. Don't forget that. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're the camp, buddy. You're the camp. So if the little fish beats up the big fish, what does that make the big fish? Huh? It's kind of an interesting thought. Good to hear you're one of us now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you right now. I was going to go back and do the mining. I think I'm just going to... Is there a sting rat in the... Help coming. This? I hear noise. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, I, I hear it. I don't see it. But I hear it. I hear it. It's there somewhere. Alright, so we've done some damage. We've done some work. We killed some stuff. We've gotten owned several times. Black Wolf owned us. Um, the Ogre one shot us twice. I'm probably going to get murdered here at the undead encampment. It's going to be unpleasant and nasty, but you know what? We're all about the unpleasant and nasty, so let's see what we can do here. And I fell in a hole. 
That's not great. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Huh? I said good day, sir. All right, so that worked out pretty good. We got that. We got a rusty sword. And we got some bones and a hunting knife and all sorts of stuff. Now we can pillage the graveyard because that's not a bad idea at all. Another tomb. We hear nasty sounds come from something somewhere. Definitely doesn't sound pleasant. A grave. A nameless Rest scoundrel. In peace. All right. We see some more mushrooms over here, and a rusty two-handed sword, a small shield, some gold coins, more gold coins. Stone plate, interesting. So yeah, pretty good stuff here. Nice haul so far. You know I'm going to have to dig that up, too. Okay. Let's start again. That was an ant. Did it. Yay, I'm a hero. Alright, so there we go. I'll take that. It still sounds like there's something really awful that wants to murder me. I don't... I can't honestly say I blame it. I mean, at this point, I feel as though me being here is kind of a betrayal to here in general. So let's dig up whatever's here. A little more for me. A little more for me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to dig it up, and we're going to smack the camera with the shovel, as we always do. Then we're going to go brush the dirt off the dirt. And then we're going to reach into the ground and Hulk smash the thing out of the ground, rip it out with our bare hands, and be like... <laughs> and it's it's fine. It simply is what it is. All I'll right. have to pick this. I'll have to pick this. Or find the key. Well, pick it, because... You can do that. You're maxed out at lockpicking, dude. Why is this a thing with you? I don't... I don't get it. Alright, well, there should be some wolves back here somewhere. Yep, I see one. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, gosh. Come on. Ah! Ah! We're going to keep dodging and juking and jiving and swinging until every one of them is dead. I don't know. I'm sure there's a real smart way of dealing with the wolves, but I haven't figured it out yet, ladies and gentlemen. I have not figured it out. All I know is if I spam the button enough and I keep moving and changing direction and the angles that I'm chopping at and swinging, eventually I'm going to hit the wolf and it's going to die. As long as it doesn't kill me first... That's a good thing. Because that's how I, I, I foresee it. Oh, look, there's a chest here, too. Nice. Can we pick that? Do we have to? Is it unlocked? Oh, it's unlocked. I already guess I alluded that at some point. Totally remembered that, of course. Alright, well. I see a lot of nothing out here. As cool as that is. Not really cool, guys. It's just, it simply is. Alright. Well, we're gonna slide our way down the mountain. We're gonna slide, slide, slippity slide. Briefly press your right click when your opponent attacks to trigger a counter attack. There we go. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if that works with, uh,. Well, the animals. There's a pig over here, if I recall correctly, or several of them, in fact. Um, maybe I'll try to kill two of them real quick. Ah! 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 They just ran me down and just kept goring me over and over and over again. I don't like being gored. It's not fun. It's pretty unpleasant. I'm just saying. Just saying. It's a little bit unpleasant. But either way, we managed to uh, 
do a little bit. We killed some stuff, like I said. We managed to kill those undead things. That was a pretty good boon to us. We're going to go chill by the uh, water barrel over here. I'm going to heal up with that. And in the next episode, we will continue down... I don't know, maybe we'll figure out how to get to the volcano place. Or we'll head back and talk to the people outside of Harbor Town that we freed. The Brothers 3 and Patty, that is. And see what they have us, or what they would have us do. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And I will catch you next time with more Risen. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.